This can be a very useful way in which you can alter the raid rebuild speeds and particularly for people who need to recover a raid but during business hours and they would rather postpone full raid rebuild onto a new drive to later on. It Hello and welcome back and today is a very quick Synology NAS video. Today I want to talk to you guys about how to speed up or in some cases slow down the RAID rebuild on your Synology NAS. There are loads of reasons why a person would want to do this, whether it's a brand new NAS or an old unit. All too often if we've got a NAS with multiple RAID volumes inside or we're changing the existing RAID to a brand new configuration, this can utilize a lot of system resources as you can see here on the bottom right of the screen. Now, sometimes if you are using the NAS for surveillance for virtual machines, simple DLNA playback or wide scale backups, you don't want to utilize all your CPU power towards a RAID resync or, or Alternatively, perhaps you want the raid to be done as quickly as possible and therefore you want to dedicate as much system resource power as possible. In order to do this, if you go into the storage manager of your Synology, one of the often overlooked facts is that if you go into the storage manager application, so going up here, go to storage manager, and from there make your way into storage pool, you will see how long it's taking for the verification and consistency checks of your RAID, be it in this case, that we're switching to a RAID 5 configuration. Now from here, if you head up here to the configuration area, you can actually change the speed at which the RAID rebuild is taking place. So in the case here at the moment, we have lowered the impact of overall system performance, which means that it has a limit to how much system resources it's allowed to use towards the rebuilding of our RAID. However, if we select RAID Resync Faster, we can speed up the RAID building on this NAS. Likewise, if we want to limit the speed, you can go to Customize and can actually change the speed that it's building at. You may already have noticed CPU utilization has already gone up. Now, if we want, typically, because we're using hard drives inside here, the read and write will be around 200 megabytes per second on this device as it's using enterprise level hard drives. I believe these are Red Pro, uh, WD Red Pro 6DB hard drives. However, if we were using SSDs, this would be higher. And this gives us the ability to limit the speeds of that RAID resync and reconfiguration here. But nevertheless, this can be a very useful way in which you can alter the RAID rebuild speeds and particularly for people who need to recover a RAID but during business hours and they would rather postpone full RAID rebuild onto a new drive to later on. It's not the safest but it's still a recommended way in which you can lower the performance dip that a RAID rebuild will have. Because whether you do this or not, the RAID um, utilize, uh, CPU utilization during a RAID rebuild can be a real killer. And considering a Synology NAS in idle should only be utilizing as much as 10% CPU, the fact that we've crossed 50% CPU utilization during this RAID rebuild could really make an impact on the running of a NAS in your home or business. But nevertheless, this has been how to slow up slow or f speed up your RAID rebuild on your Synology NAS. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this to support this channel and help me help you. Thanks for watching.